What's up Gabsters? My name is Gabor Nacion and welcome back to my channel. So if bago ka dito sa channel ko, I do different kinds of content from your usual vlogs, camera gear reviews, and tutorials just like this one. So if interested ka sa gantong klase ng content, join the Gabster family and consider subscribing using the subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga new uploads ko. So sa segment na to na tatawagin kong Go Create, I will teach you guys different kinds of stuff. So in this tutorial or in this episode, I will teach you guys to Go Create the pixel stretch effect using photoshop so itong pixel stretch effect is actually not my invention or hindi ako yung nag gumawa nito guys hindi ako yung nag originate nito or whatever nakita ko lang din siya sa youtube via the homepage uh, suggested content siya sa akin and uh, through this creator na sobrang grabe na inspire ako na gawin talaga tong content nito because of him kasi there is this creator called Joe Cavazos and he does different kinds of visual art on his Instagram and on YouTube. So I will link his accounts in the description box below. So be sure to check that out guys. So you know today we'll, I will be showing you how to do the pixel stretch effects. So let's go to Photoshop and let's get started. First, uh, I guess let's make a new project muna. So click file and new. So for this one, let's just do a 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can do as wide as you want or as big as you want and then let's open a an image na pwede nyo i-edit so nag-download ako sa pexels.com if you guys don't know what pexels is so it's basically a free stock photo website so you can download any stock photos there for free for your creative use uh, better than if you credit nyo yung actual artist so for this one, this is actually from Vlad Chatan. So thanks Vlad for uh, uploading this amazing photo of our reflection. Our first step kasi sa lahat ng pixel stretch project nyo is to select your subject. So to select your subject is use the quick selection tool and use the plus minus para mas mabilis yung pag-select ng subject. So another cool feature actually in Photoshop 2019 is meron siya yung tinatawag na select subject. So yung select subject parang automatically uh, kinukuha niya or sineselect niya yung tingin niyang subject din sa photo na yun. So as you can see, uh, na-capture na naman niya halos yung buong detail nung subject natin which is this guy. Pero kung makakansin niyo hindi niya na-select yung sapatos. So, uh, okay lang yun, at least na-capture na halos yung lahat ng gusto kong makuha niya. Uh, I-re-refine na lang natin siya later on. After mo ma-select yung subject mo using that selection tool, copy and paste it to your artboard or yung uh, background mo. After mo ma-select yan, resize mo yung subject mo into whatever size you want. Ako, I just want to clean up din muna yung pinaka-selection. So, so, let me clean up this kasi kung mapapansin nyo may mga white lines, may, may mga konting artifacts pa rin from the previous photo. So, I'll quickly uh, do the clean up and continue on with the pixel stretch tutorial. By the way guys, kaya mahalaga na mag clean up ng mga white lines na yun kasi it can affect the stretch or the colors of your stretch although of course personal preference yun actually pwedeng isama siya pero just for this tutorial tatanggalin ko lang siya kasi maganda naman yung colors na meron yung subject natin so for this one I'll, I'm just cleaning up those white lines sa edges na para mas uh, maganda yung makuha natin pixels or yung stretch later on sa tutorial so continue ka lang ko guys If hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please consider subscribing using the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka sa mga susunod na tutorials just like this one. So, let's get back to the video. <laughs> so, after mo ma-clean up yung subject mo, you have to rename it into any uh, name that you want. Mine, uh, rename ko siya as original kat para alam ko yung pinaka-original layer ng subject ko. So after nun, kinonvert ko din siya into a smart object. So you have to right click on it and convert to smart object. Next step is to create several copies of this one moving 
one pixel to the left. So to easily do that, ang kailangan nilang i-press is Alt and Left. So as you can see, nag-create na siya ng one copy to the left in one pixel. So you have to make several copies. Uh, depende siya sa magiging itsura kasi. Pero ang pinaka-goal mo talaga is makapag-create ka ng one straight line from all of these copies. So kung makapansin nyo rin dito, buti na lang may uh, transformation uh, guidelines din dito. So pwede na siya mag-act as yung one straight line mo. So kung mapansin nyo, uh, nagkaroon ng one straight line. And that's what we really want. So sa numbers ko, nakakuha ako ng 176 copies bago ko siya na-achieve. Pero basically, kailangan nyo lang magkaroon ng one straight line afterwards. And then next, you have to select the thumbnail of the first layer. And then, uh, or the last layer rather. So, kailangan mo select yung last layer. And then, scroll down while pressing shift. And select the very first copy. Yan. So, ang mangyayari kasi is, i-merge natin sila except the original one. So, you will never touch the original one. Ito yung maging pinaka ano, talaga natin, copy. So, control E to merge those layers. So, mahiwalay uh, na natin siya. So, itago muna natin si layer of na original. Yan. Ang next na gagawin natin is, uh, pwede tayo mag-create ng guide na i-pang-guide lang natin dun sa tool na gagamitin natin next. And then, i-move mo lang yung guide dun sa exact spot na may pwede ka ng straight line na gagamitin. And then, the next tool is actually yung single column marquee tool. And, yun, i-press mo lang dun sa guide para magkaroon ng one pixel selection uh, dun sa exact spot dun ng guide mo. So, ngayon hindi mo siya nakikita, pero remove muna natin yung create ng guide. Pag zoom nyo siya, ayan. So, makikita nyo na nagkaroon ng super liit or basically one pixel vertical line na selection. P press control C para i-copy yung selection na yan and then control V to create a new layer with that exact uh, pixel na copy. So, kung mapansin nyo, may super thin line. This will serve as our stretch actually. So, para ma-reveal yung stretch, uh, ang gawin mo lang is press Alt and Shift and then press to the left or to the right. Basta magkaroon extension, yung stretch layer natin. And press uh, the check mark to commit the transformer mag uh, seal yung selection na yan. So now we have our stretch layer. So pangalan natin siya, stretch. And then, pwede mo na ilabas si original layer. So next na step is to align yung original layer mo dun sa stretch na nagawa natin. So, ang pinaka goal natin is to have him on the pinaka dulo. And then, check nyo kung pantay-pantay na yung mga colors or yung stretch basically dun sa original layer natin yeah so i guess that's a good selection already so depending dun sa subject nyo uh syempre mag-iiba yung direction or yung style na magagawa niya sa pixel stretch pero for this example since yung subject natin is papunta sa left so lahat ng nasa left na sobra dun sa stretch layer dapat natin tanggalin Pero bago natin gawin yun, convert muna natin sa smart object yung stretch layer. This will help us make any changes dun sa bend na gagawin natin ngayon. So, after nung pag-align nung stretch layer and yung original layer natin yung sa subject, ang next na gagawin natin is to create the bend. This will be up to you talaga kung paano nyo siya gagawin yung bend. Pero basically, to do a bend, I select yung stretch layer after mo convert sa smart object press any of the points or kahit yung sa line basta hindi magagalaw yung size niya and then lalabas tong warp tool once na maklik niya yan magkakaroon tayo ng grid and mag iba yung mga points dun sa layer so etong mga points na to you can do anything you want dito so as you can see mabibend mo na yung stretch in any shape or form na gusto natin. So, you really have to be like super creative then using this. So, it's really really up to you na. 
ang pinaka na OC ako sa ginawa ko before is minentain ko kasi na may stretch pa rin na straight dito sa part na to kumbaga gradual yung pag stretch niya o pag bend niya gusto ko kasi parang maintain yung detail and then tsaka magta ka rin ng warping somewhere so in extend ko muna sya ng konti keeping in mind na dapat align pa rin yung mga colors and all that para lang ayun ko for me para malinis na ng konti and at, I think this looks really good <laughs> para siyang isda tuloy ngayon pero <laughs> ay, ganyan lang yung ginawa ko nun Pinag, I just played around and do different stuff dun sa band and I just adjust ko lang dun after tapos yun na uh, basically you created the pixel shift band <laughs> okay so next step is mag add na ng mga additional details dito sa image na gagawin natin so yung pwede natin i-add na detail dito is yung shadow from the subject tapos shadow din din sa bend ng stretch and also add additional lighting effect or whatever <laughs> mga shiny shiny gawin natin shiny tong part na to just to show na it's really uh, different dimension or something like that uh, basically sa part na to pwede ka mag-add ng kahit ano pang visual elements and other stuff na pwede mong gawin if may iba ka pa na isip na gawin for this kind of uh, work basically ito na yung pixel stretch <laughs> so yung pakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano ko siya gawin so let's create a new layer so itong layer na, pen, na to gawin natin siyang shadows and then change the shadows layer into multiply and then click alt and then punta ka sa between nung stretch and nung layer na shadows para mag-change siya into this arrow thing and click below or click mo lang siya so mangyayari niyan parang magkakaroon ng clipping mask from here to the shadows to the stretch tapos yung paint brush tool mo since naka multiply mode siya medyo mag-darken yung kahit anong ilagay mo dun sa part na ng stretch sa stretch lang siya mag-apply so, perfect yung uh, multiply para dun sa uh, shadows na gagawin natin. So, lagyan natin na shadows yung subject muna para ma-separate lang siya kahit paano dun sa background. Kumbaga, it adds depth. <laughs> it adds depth and yun nga, separation from the subject to the uh, background. Kumbaga, make it as close to the body as possible kasi for shadows for me, kapag ganito, imaginein mo lang na may nag-shine or may nag-flash na ilo dun sa, sa kanya. Kaya nagkaroon ng uh, shadow dun sa, sa stretch part or basically yung background. So, ayan. So, nag-create na tayo ng subtle na uh, shadow sa subject natin. Next, is lagyan naman natin ng shadow itong uh, part ng stretch. So, same concept, uh, imaginein mo lang. Pero kapag dumikit ka kasi dun sa part na puti, dito sa part na to, magiging dark din siya. So, syempre, yung sa shadow mo, parang overlapping naman siya. So, dapat ang uh, pinaka-dark side is yung leftmost lang. Kasi nandun lang yung stretch. Tapos, siguro, litan mo yung brush mo ng konti para dun sa smaller parts. Parang gradual yung maging actual na shadow. Kasi ito lang naman yung bend. So, next step is to create the highlights naman. So, create na tayo ng layer and uh, gawin mo lang ulit yung uh, yan. So, for this layer, pangalan natin siyang highlights. Ito naman yung magbibigay ng konting shine dun sa certain parts of the stretch natin. Ang um, blend mode niyan is overlay or whichever works best with the colors na meron ka. So, pwedeng light ten So, makikita naman natin yun. Uh, light ten or overlay. So, medyo nagda-darken pa rin siya. Kasi black yung gano. So, dapat <laughs> white. So, para maging light or color. And, and tagdaya natin opacity. And then, yan. Uh, magkaroon ka lang ng streak. Super light streak lang. Tapos, so, just add super simple and subtle detail para mag mukhang kakaiba <laughs> yung inyong 
it's a stretch image but basically we are done with this tutorial <laughs> after nyo create yung stretch and then bends and all that you create or add additional uh, visual effects or visual elements dun sa image para mas maging cool <laughs> para mas maging uh, diverse and mas uh, creative yung uh, image na magagawa mo so uh, para mas medyo realistic yun natin white yung background and then create another layer on top of the background layer and then just paint some shadows <laughs> sa baba so at least mas realistic diba Imagine mo lang yan, just yung bend, pwede mo palaki yung ganyan. Tapos use the Gaussian filter. Gaussian blur. So, para lang mag... Mas maging realistic yung shadow effect. Uh, it's really up to you guys kung paano i-execute tong part na to. Kasi it's just... Uh, making your uh, imagination run wild. <laughs> Ayan. So, this is just a quick edit lang kasi. So, you have, you can refine it as much as you want, add, add, add more visual elements to it, uh, do more crazy stuff with this pixel stretch, but basically, yun yung basic steps to do this effect. So yeah, uh, this one is really fun to do. Um, I'm actually doing a series of photo shoot na will tackle this specific effect. Yeah, I guess that's it for this tutorial. And I want to challenge you guys. Uh, nakita niyo naman siguro yung title. This is called Go Create. Uh, so parang naisip ko lang to na series na gawin. So this series will tackle different tutorials of different artistic and I don't know, basta mga visual related thing. It can be video or photo and all that na tutorial. And I hope you guys can also share some of your work with me. I would love to see all of the things that you guys can create with this tutorial. So, to join, uh, I guess, try nyo. Try nyo lang. Wow. Kahit ano, kayo na bahala kung ano yung gagawin yung subject and kung paano nyo gagawin, gagamitin tong effect na to. Pero basically, just post on social media, sa Facebook or sa Instagram, tag nyo ako. And also, use the hashtag, GoCreatePixelStretch. Kapag nagawa niyo yun guys, if we feature ko yung top 5 siguro, or top 10, or basta kung sino man yung sumali sa challenge na to. That's why I want to name this tutorial as uh, GoCreate. And the following tutorials guys, it will follow the GoCreate format. Let's go create guys and thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please consider subscribing using the subscribe button below. Press that like and notification bell <laughs> and comment down below kung anong magandang gawin next. Baka may nakikita kayong mga visual effects dyan sa Instagram or something. Actually, marami akong pinafollow na may super interesting content na gusto ko rin i-try gawin. And this is one of it. So I hope you guys join our little challenge na hashtag go create pixel stretch. So I'm really excited to see what you guys have done or will do with this effect. So keep on creating guys and see you on the next one. Bye!